to be his bride. That seed, the divine seed of God. He put it in a man. He created a son in the garden called Adam. The seed of God was in him pure. And out of that seed in Adam, he created a woman, a man with a womb. And they were both pure and holy before the Lord because they were of the same seed. You understand that? They were of exactly the same kind. They were exactly the same, male and female. But they were both Adam. They were of the same seed, of the same nature, the same kind. And somehow the church, we've got so far off through 6,000 years or however long it's been that we've got over here. And now we think the church... The church has not kept herself pure. We got born again. We were purified because of the blood of the Lamb. But then we've gone out away from Him. And we've played the harlot with the world. I don't know how else to say it. That's what we've done. And we've tainted our garments and our robes. See, Jesus, the bridegroom, the bridegroom, the bride has to be exactly like Him. They've got to be of the same kind, the same nature. They've got to be just like Jesus was the expressed image of God the Father. His bride, the remnant in the church, has to be in the same image, in the same likeness, the same expression of Christ. The bride and the bridegroom have to be compatible. They have to be as one. They're the same. They're the same seed. Internally, we must become just like Him. And you do that through being born again, but then living a holy, separated life under Him. Amen? So this seed, let's pick the story up in Luke chapter 1. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Where do you want me to start, Lord? Thank you, Lord, Jesus. In the very beginning, it talks about the birth of John the Baptist. The angel appears to Zechariah. There's a priest, a Jewish priest in the temple. Offering up prayers and doing all the rituals and going through keeping the law of Moses. And an angel. The angel's name was Gabriel. How many know there's a real angel and his name's Gabriel? If he was able to come into the earth realm here, he's still able to come into the earth realm now. Anytime the Father sends him. I want you to understand something about Gabriel. He's a special angel. He's an archangel. He's a messenger angel. But he's more than that. Because any time Gabriel is sent into the earth, it's for birthing. He's the birthing angel. Whenever Gabriel, When God needs to have something new birthed into the earth, when He wants to do the new thing, guess who He sends? Gabriel. To birth it in His church. They didn't... That's wild to me, but Zacharias... He didn't think it was odd that an angel would appear to him in the temple. He talked to this angel. The angel talked to him. They had a conversation. And he didn't think it was weird. He didn't call it new age. He didn't think it was freaky. He didn't think he went bonkers and lost his mind. This was normal. I don't think this was the first time that they had angels come to the temple and meet with the priests. But this one's recorded. He said, your wife, Elizabeth, is going to have a baby. He said, how in the world can that be, Lord? She's too old. Kind of reminds me of Abraham and Sarah back in the Bible. God came to Abraham and said, I'm going to, through you, because you're a man of faith, I'm going to raise up a family. I'm going to raise up a nation that there are going to be so many, they're going to be like the sands of the sea. They're going to number like the stars in heaven. Did you know they've done research now? I can't remember the scientist's name, but he, I mean, he's 
one of the well-known, really intelligent geniuses in the world today. He just got this whim that he was going to try to count the number of sand in the earth. But guess what he found out? To his shock, God already knew it. God said, your descendants through faith are going to number like this, the sand. They're going to be the number like the stars. When he figured out how many stars were in all the universes, he came up with the exact same number. The exact same number of stars is the exact number of grains of sand. That's our God. He could have saved a lot of time and money, but he just asked the Lord. He read it in the Bible. So don't think that God doesn't know you. We have trouble believing He knows every hair numbered on our head. No, He knew exactly how many pebbles of sand was going to be in the earth, and He made exactly the number of stars to match that in the heavens. Again, the same kind. The bridegroom retained in heaven until the time of the restoration of all things. The bride in the earth being prepared for her bridegroom. They're going to look just alike. They're going to be just alike internally. Just like the sand and the stars. I just find that amazing. So anyway, you know the story. Back to this. That's how great our God is, folks. That's how big our God is. Do you think if God could do that in all of creation, that He could take a bride for Himself? That He knows how to prepare us for Him? I think He can. Do you think He could take a, an old lady that was past the age of childbearing and cause her to give birth to a new thing? I think He can. So anyway, Elizabeth gets pregnant, as you know. Zacharias wasn't able to speak because he doubted God. He opened his mouth and said some dumb things. You know, when, when the presence of God shows up, we need to really watch what we say. <laughs> we need to honor the Lord. Sometimes we just say some silly things. So anyway, she gets pregnant. The angel tells Zacharias that his name is going to be called John. Of course, then we pick up the story here. Let's read in verse uh, 24. It says, Now after those days his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she had hid herself five months, saying, Thus the Lord has dealt with me in these days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among people. Now in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent by God, second time, to a city of Galilee named Nazareth. So angel Gabriel has come to the earth twice in six months because God has something He's got to get done. Whenever God has something He needs to be done on the earth, I want you to know He's well able to get it done. No government is going to stop Him. No president is going to stop Him. No rich oil man is going to stop Him. No country is going to stop Him. <laughs> They're just pawns. You know? He's bigger than all that. He is using all those things for His good, for His purpose, whether they know it or not. They're playing into His plan of all eternity. It says, Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. See? The seed had to come through the house of David. The royal bloodline. A seed that wasn't tainted. A pure bloodline. That's important. 